in Ship Constructor 2011 R2, a number of important improvements have been introduced in the area of updating production drawings. For example, updating production drawings no longer requires saving these drawings. After a production drawing is updated, it is possible to undo the update operation by using the standard AutoCAD undo command. Also, in a scenario where a user saves backup copies of his or her production drawings, it is now possible to revert the drawing to one of its previous states by manually replacing the current production drawing file with its backup version. The replaced file will be fully accommodated by Ship Constructor. In addition to these new possibilities, more production drawing types became updatable in Ship Constructor 2011 R2. For example, interference, weld management, and product hierarchy drawings are completely updatable in the new Ship Constructor version. A number of general improvements have been introduced in the Modified Part Information dialog that shows what changes happened to the production drawing since the last time the drawing was updated. In particular, the dialog was simplified and made more convenient to the user. Finally, we optimized performance of the production drawing update process by changing the way how manually deleted parts are treated during the update process. By default, we no longer load manually deleted parts into the drawing. The parts remain concealed from the user observation. This helps us not only save time during the update process, but also make the behavior more logical to the user. But, of course, the default behavior can be easily overridden by the user, and the manually deleted parts can be restored in the drawing if necessary. Now, let's have a look at how the new improvements work in practice. On the screen, I have an assembly drawing opened that shows the assembly that I am about to modify. I will add some new parts to this assembly and change some existing parts inside this assembly. Then, I will update this production drawing and we'll see how the new update process works. To modify the assembly, I need to open a model drawing that contains parts that belong to the assembly. I have prepared the model drawing in advance. It will take a few seconds to open it. The model drawing that I have just opened is a pipe model drawing. It already contains parts that I'm going to add to my assembly. These are the two pipe parts. The part that I'm going to modify will be this structure plate. I will create a penetration between this structure plate and the pipe part that currently interferes with the plate. In fact, the penetration has already been predefined in this drawing. The only thing that I need to do is just to apply this penetration. To apply the penetration, I'm going into the Penetration Manager. And do the necessary steps here. After the plate part has been modified, the next thing that I'm going to do is to add the two pipe parts to the assembly. I will be adding them as a pipe spool. To define a pipe spool, I need to go into the Spool Manager. Here, I'm going to assign this pool to the assembly that is shown in my production drawing. At this point, all of the changes that I wanted to do inside the assembly are completed. 
I'm going to return to the production drawing and update it. Please notice that before the update starts, Ship Constructor doesn't ask me to save the drawing. This is a new feature that was added in Ship Constructor 2011 R2. Updates in production drawings no longer requires saving them. Let's take a moment to have a look at the modified part information dialog. As you can see, the dialog now looks a little bit simpler compared to what it used to look like. One simplification that was done in this dialog was combining two separate categories of new parts, such as new parts from existing projects and new parts from new sources, into just one category called new parts. Also, you can see that now connections are shown as new parts when they are added to the assembly. To confirm the changes, I need to click the OK button. We can see that the production drawing has been updated successfully, expected visual changes happen to the picture, and a couple of new data rows were added to the BOM table. Now, let's have a look at how production drawings treat manually deleted parts in Ship Constructor 2011 R2. I will go into the model space of the production drawing and manually delete three plate parts that obstruct the visibility of parts behind them. Let's see what happens if I update this drawing now. As we can see, manually deleted parts doesn't get automatically loaded into the drawing. This saves time during the update operation. However, if the user would like to add these parts, he or she will need to do the following steps. Check the manually deleted part in the drawing, and then click the Refresh Preview button. The manually deleted part will be restored in the drawing. As I have mentioned in the beginning of this presentation, any update of the production drawing can be undone in Ship Constructor 2011 R2. Let's see how this works. If I press the Ctrl-Z combination of keys on the keyboard, I should return to the previous state of the production drawing. I'm going to repeat this operation several times. As you can see, this is my previous state of the production drawing. Finally, in Ship Constructor 2011 R2, I can not only undo immediate updates to production drawings, but I can also revert these drawings to their previous states that I may have backed up before. Prior to starting this presentation, I made a backup copy of the very first initial production drawing. I'm going to use the backup copy to revert the production drawing to its original state. The current AutoCAD drawing has to be closed before I will be able to replace its file manually in Windows Explorer. Once the file is no longer used by AutoCAD, I can go to Windows Explorer and manually replace that file with its backup copy.
If I open my production drawing now, it will be in the reverted state. The major change that happened in Ship Constructor 2011 R2 is that now application stores information about parts revisions inside their production drawings. Therefore, any production drawing that was created in Ship Constructor 2011 R2 can be used as an updatable backup source of a production drawing. The major benefit of having such functionality is the user's ability to see what changes happened to the production drawing between the two moments of time, the moment the backup file was created and the present moment. If I update this production drawing now, Ship Constructor should bring it to the latest state that is recorded in the Ship Constructor database. As you can see, the Modified Part Information dialog has correctly identified all of the changes that happened to the production drawing since the moment of time the backup file was created. Thank you very much for your time watching this presentation and we hope that you will enjoy new functional abilities of Ship Constructor 2011 R2.